Hey gang, it's Andy Petronic, and I'm back with another workout in my living room workout series. Today is a workout that I call Burpee Mania. It's incredibly simple, and yet it's incredibly difficult. I'm going to go into that in a second. First, I want to let you know it's super hot here today. In fact, my thermometer reads over 100 degrees. That's why I'm not wearing a shirt. I'm in my garage. Uh, this is going to be a sweat chamber, and um, partly because it's hot and partly because this workout is a tough one. So I hope you've got your sweat gear on and you're ready to go. Put down a towel if you're in your living room. Your wife or husband will appreciate it later on. I promise. Uh, let's talk about the workout. Um, so this is a strategic workout. We're working on endurance uh, using one movement, namely burpees. And we're going to do a series of 30 second intervals with a 30 second break of burpees. We're going to do 10 of them. Now, here's how I want you to approach this. Rather than throwing yourself at the wall as hard as possible to see how many burpees you can do in every 30 seconds, I want you to try to pick a number of burpees you think you can do and that you think you can maintain for all 10 rounds. For me, I think that number is somewhere between 11 and 13. I don't know, it's incredibly hot today. You know, some of this depends on how you're feeling based on the rest of the week and on your workouts. But I think that number is somewhere between 11 and 13. So even though I have 30 seconds to do as many burpees as I can, I'm gonna only go until I get somewhere between 11 and 13 burpees. And if that takes me 20 seconds, great. I'm gonna stop at 20 seconds and I get 40 seconds of rest. I can also change that ratio over the course of the workout so that if I get halfway through and decide, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna make this, I'm gonna bump my number down to eight. Okay, I'm gonna to commit to that. You can also bump it up the other way. If you, if you misjudge the number of burpees you can do in, that you think you can do over the course of those 10 minutes. Um, let me talk a little bit about burpees. So a, a basic burpee is getting yourself down to the ground with your chest on the ground and then standing back up and jumping with your hands clapping over your head. That is a basic burpee. Now, if you want to be really efficient about doing your burpee, you will bend over at the waist, kick out, and kind of flop down to the ground without any muscular effort, trying to minimize the amount of effort you give. You won't do a push-up at this point. You'll just raise your upper body because that's more efficient and easier. And then you'll jump your feet to your hands and then do a very minimal jump, just enough to get your hands up over your head. Play with your burpee form today. It will make a difference, I promise. And as with any of my workouts, any modification of this is absolutely fine. If you want to do what I call a sprawl, which is just to here, and then back up, you want to leave out the jump, fine. You want to just do a sprawl? Fine. You want to do a walk out and a walk back in? Totally fine. Go to the limit of your ability. I want you to give it everything you got because this is all we're doing today. No more workouts after this. You're done in 10 minutes. All right. Hope you're ready. I am. Well, I think I am. Let's pull up my timer. We'll get a 10 second countdown going and turn up the volume. We've got 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and here we go. That's halfway.
There's 10 for me and 11. One thing I forgot to mention, it's really helpful to have a journal with you. Where's my pen? So you can write down what you're doing. So I got 11 in my first round and we're in our break. We're halfway through the break. So far so good. I think I need to speed up a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. Here we go, three seconds and we're off. Halfway. All right, two down. Well, heart rate is up, that's for sure. Not disappointing so far. Five seconds. Halfway. All right. So, yeah, pen, paper, keep track. Halfway there. Rest feels like it's getting shorter. I assure you it's not. Okay, here we go. Five seconds. All right, that was 12 for me to make up for 10 in the last round. It's gonna get hard to talk. So if I stop talking, that's why. All right, here we go, 10 seconds. All right, I'm sticking with 12. Whew. Not because it felt good, but because I know I can. Well, I can right now. I don't know if I'll be able to for the whole workout, so we'll see. 10 seconds, halfway there, oh yeah.
I may try to do 13. So perhaps I can average 12. I gotta bring my average up. My first three, I averaged 11. So I'm gonna try it this time. See what happens. Thirteen. Whew. All right. Whew. Guys, we got three to go. Stick with it. Give it your best effort. Seven seconds. for me again. Two more. Woo! Fifteen seconds. Finding it hard to breathe. Guys, this is the time to dig in. This is where you get the training. Mental toughness. Last one. Woo! Here we go. Ten seconds. Hang with it. That's it. I did, I think I did 131, but I'm gonna go back and add them up. I might be off. My thinking is a little blurred. That's good. Listen, if you feel like you aren't wiped out after doing 10 rounds, go another 10. Keep going. Turn on the timer. Restart the video, do another 10. This is a great way to train your strength, your muscular endurance, and your ticker, and your, and your breathing. You don't have to do long runs or bike rides to train your metabolic conditioning. Burpees are probably one of the best pieces of movement 
in the entire library of body weight exercises. So this is a great way to train. Use it, come back to it, we will, and uh, we'll see you in the next workout. This is Andy Petronic. See ya.